What's going on everybody? Today I'm making French bread. And uh, I've never made bread before. This will be the first time. I've been wanting to do it for a couple of months now. And uh, I've got a few things here. I've got some bread flour, which I didn't even know that existed until a couple of months ago. And I found it at a store locally. Uh, I've got some water, some yeast, and some salt. So I got everything ready to go. I think they call that mise en place. And I got my wife's stand mixer. I've only used this thing once before, so I'll have to figure it out again. And it's got a, a dough hook attachment, which came with it. I'm following a recipe I saw in another video, so I'll put a link to her video. I really don't know what I'm doing, so hopefully it turns out okay. She's been making this particular recipe for about 12 years. So let's see if I can pull it off as a beginner, okay? Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and take this and move it back here so I can plug it in. And then we'll get started putting things inside of it. So I guess go ahead and add the yeast, this instant dry yeast, two cups of water, warm, some salt, and I've got some bread flour. Now I'm going to start off with four and a half cups, which is the lower amount that she gives. If I need to add more, I can, but I'm going to go ahead and start with just a four and a half. There. Now I just got to turn it on, I think about midway, see what happens. Okay, it's totally not even touching. Oh, I know what the problem is. Ah, here we go. Okay. Now let's try it again. again. Okay, I can already tell that it needs more flour. So I'm going to go ahead and bump in a little bit more. This is another half a cup. I'll have just a little bit and try again. Yeah. whole five cups in it's really sticky still I, I feel like I need more more flour it's like sticking to my hands pretty bad let's try this again it's still too <laughs> it's too sticky hey, let's try it now okay basketball okay I think this is good enough it's tacky it's barely sticking to my hands I'm going to throw it in this lightly greased bowl and cover it with saran wrap when I as soon as I get some wrap on this I'll draw a dragon for you okay Okay. No. it's supposed to double in size so let me show you what it looks like right now and then after an hour I can show you how it, how it grew Alright, it's been right about an hour and the, uh, as you can see, the dough has risen greatly. It's actually quite big, so, uh, oh no, it's sticking to the, to the plastic. And I got this, picked this up, apparently they make uh, French bread pans or like a baguette br uh, pans. It has holes in it. I found this one at Target. In the meantime, I made some crawfish cheesy sauce to put on the bread to make New Orleans crawfish bread. I made another video on making crawfish bread. If you want to click here or look in the description box. Let me go ahead and get this out, have it, roll it, put it on here, and then we'll start rising the second time, all right? Look at that. A big old thing of stuff. I'm going to split it in half. Oh no. There we go. Put this one over here. No, it's sticking. All right, let me roll this out. This is gonna be, I think officially, first time I ever used a roller. I can't remember how big I'm supposed to roll this out. I gotta watch the video. Large rectangle. Now, I have to roll it up a little bit. This looks horrible. Baby, you give me ice and fire. I'm not really sure if I have to rush on this, but I feel like I need to go ahead and hurry up and get in that pan. Gonna... Okay. 
All right, the brand is on the rose for about 30 minutes, so let's take a look at it and uh, get ready for the oven. Okay, you can see how much it's risen. Uh, it's actually touching. I'm a little concerned about the bread touching. I don't want it to kind of bake together. I don't know if that's possible, but I got the oven preheated to 375. Let me take this off. I think that what I'm going to do is move this piece to here. Maybe I should have done that before I put it in. So let me go ahead and grease this little part and see if I can get that moved without damaging. Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let go you bread. These are gonna be the ugliest French bread loaves you have ever seen in your life. But what I gotta do right now um, is slice some slits in the top and then put some egg on it, okay? So it's not cutting like on the video. You know, I don't really know if I'll put enough flour in this thing, to be honest. This is apparently something you have to do to release whatever. Now let me put some egg yolk on it. Get it in the oven. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. It's pretty golden brown. See, that looks pretty good. What do you think? It's hot. You gotta put it on that uh, rack. That looks really good. I gotta let it cool off now before we can eat it. I started too late in the day to be able to eat it for lunch, so now we gotta eat it for supper. Um, but I may try a piece, at least when it starts to cool down. So I'll get back with you once the bread's cooled down and uh, we can take a look at it. All right, this bread is completely cooled down and I want to try a piece with some butter on it. I'm gonna be using this butter. I haven't tried it yet. It's stinking awesome. For some reason, it just tastes really good. So let me go ahead and cut a piece. Just so you can see what the bottom looks like. You can see, golden brown. Looks like it's all the way done. So let's get some butter on this. Try it out. Go ahead and take a bite of this. Mm hmm. Mm. Very good outside just like I like French bread a little tough soft on the inside I mean I don't know what else to say I can't complain let me get this this is the bread I bought from Publix recently a grocery store around here and this is better than this I'm just saying I'm not just saying that because I made it but it's got the right kind of texture like I said I like French bread that's tough on the outside it's crispy on the bottom this is gonna be Really good on some crawfish bread later. Man, I just can't believe I made this. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? We got a whole other loaf over there. I don't know how we're gonna eat all this before it goes bad. Crawfish bread tonight, it's gonna take about half of this loaf. Buttered bread for the kids, because I don't think they'll eat crawfish bread. It'll be the rest of this. So then maybe tomorrow I'll have some more buttered bread. The video I watched to learn how to do this was a stay at home chef is the name of her channel. I'll put a link to the exact video where I got the recipe. I've got a lot to learn, obviously. It doesn't look very pretty. It's lopsided. It was a good first try at it, and I plan on making some more. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.